Agri Management waiting by to chat with us. Hudson Agro has delivered a mixed bag in Q3. The company's margins witnessed an expansion on a year-on-year -year basis, even as it contracted sequentially. R.G. Chandramogan, the chairman of Hudson Agro Products, now joins us on the show now. Uh, afternoon, sir, and thanks so much for joining in. We were just telling our viewers your margin performance. Could you give us an indication about the pulls and pushes for, on the margins in the subsequent quarters? What should we expect? Actually, our EBITDA has increased compared to last year. Actually, last year, same time, we did 162 versus 191 this year. Taxation is, sorry, depreciation and interest has been higher compared to last year. That has resulted in one crore less profit on the PAT. Going forward, the last three years, we have done a lot of infrastructure investments. And we also had a dip of uh, milk procurement due to incessant rains and uh, lumpy skin disease. So these are becoming past. Going forward, we expect things to improve. And again, the season for ice cream and curd will be better. That is our expectation. Margin range, sir, for us to work with. And how much have milk procurement prices gone up? Procurement prices have gone up by almost 16% compared to last year to this year. Oh. And uh, the increase of uh, selling price took place in stages compared to inflation that hit. But now inflation is moderating and uh, probably we are not expecting any price increase on inflation and the price is also accommodated now. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chandramogan, two-part question here. First, when you talk about price increases that you have taken in phases so far, how much of a price hike has been done by the company in nine months? And have you seen an impact on volumes or demand because of that? Uh, so going forward, do you expect recovery or a better growth in FY24? FY24, we expect a good growth because probably the stability has come now. Stability, once and it comes, probably the things will start improving. I, we expect probably the products also to play a major, major role like ice cream and uh, uh, curd because seasonality factor has been heavily affected in uh, last six months due to heavy rain and normalcy is coming back. So we expect things to improve from this quarter. Okay, so when you are talking about improvement, but can you tell us if volume saw decline on a quarter on quarter basis or on a YY basis because of price increases? No, price increase will also definitely will add to it. And apart from price increase, we should be able to get a marginally better effect. But it is too early to predict because we are only in the month of January. But things are looking progressive. What was the volume growth in Q3? Q3, we already had an EBITDA of 11. No, sir, so volumes. Volumes. Volumes actually didn't increase a lot because the price mm. increase has taken place. Now, price increase has to stabilize and the volume increase will happen only this quarter as well as the so Did volumes next decline? Quarter. Did volumes come down? If yes, by how much? Year on year what, and quarter uh, on quarter? No, no. Milk volumes have come down by about 4 to 5 percent. Okay. But this will start occurring this quarter. And the ice cream volumes and other things have already grown. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, you have also approved fundraise through rights issue and QIP this time around in the quarter gone by. Uh, by when do you think you'll complete it? Uh, what kind of uh, usage will you see because of the funds that you've been raising? Will it be CapEx, debt reduction? Uh, can you tell us more details on this? Actually, CapEx we have done sizably well in the last three years. So, last three years, once when COVID was there, our project cost implementation were comparatively less and we were able to do it faster. Now, we don't require CapEx infrastructure. This is mainly for debt reduction. And our uh, 300 crores has been raised. And our debt equity ratio will already fall to less than 1 is to 1 from tomorrow. Most probably the funds will be available from tomorrow. Okay. So, we have not gone for QAP and we are settled with rights issue. And it is already done. Okay. So all of the f money raised by the rights issue will go to bring your debt which, debt to equity below 1x and not for CAPEX because your CAPEX uh, plans have largely been completed. So how much did yeah. ice creams contribute to your overall revenues and do you have a target? Because earlier you had indicated mid-teens kind of revenue contribution. No, ice cream probably there are two brands and probably every year probably the brand contribution is increasing. Immediately I don't have the figures to say. But probably it is just increasing. 
Okay. So, uh, you are talking about CapEx that you've already announced. You do have a couple of uh, plants which will start commencement of production as well and they'll start contributing, so to say, from FY24 as well. How much of a total uh, addition will you see to revenues? Will it change your margin profile as well in any way? No, it will change the margin as well as revenue, both. But How? probably it is ready to say because the milk arrivals has to improve because after the rain, milk arrivals have started improving. It is too early to predict. But uh, next year, probably we can expect something like 14 to 15% growth without any difficulty. Okay, 14 to 15% growth without any difficulty. And uh, when you are talking about growth, will you be spending more on advertisement as well? Uh, you did see a decline this time around. That is something that led to improvement in margins as well. Uh, what but is I, the range that you can work with? Normally, <laughs> advertisement, we spend about 2% of the revenue. And it will be more as a percentage for ice cream and probably less as a percentage for milk. So overall, we normally spend about 2%. How is competition? Uh, you know, there are a lot of D2C brands which have opened up, uh, people who are brands which are selling vegan ice cream, low-calorie ice cream. Could you give us a sense of the competitive intensity in the market? See, we, are, we are mainly focused with uh, dairy fat ice cream and we don't even just go for uh, vegetable fat ice cream and all that. Vegan and all that is very limited market mm. and a limited niche and we are focused on dairy fat ice cream. Okay. Oh. All right, uh, Mr. Chandramogan, it was a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us through quarter through performance and the outlook going forward as well. That's the word coming in from Hudson Agro Products. The stock has recovered a tad bit from the lows, but still down 1.5% in trade right now. Slip into a short break. Up next, we'll be joined by Pavan Khaitan, who's the Vice Chairman and Managing Director at Quantum Papers to discuss their quarter three earnings. Stay tuned.